guys, welcome back to my channel. The Lock Library's here. I'm filming this a lot later than I had originally planned because I ended up being really busy today. And it's always typical. The day that a book turns up is the day that I can't get to it. I can't remember the theme, even though I literally just looked it up. It's quite a chunky book though. Um, let's bust it open. Ooh, ooh, that looks pretty. Oh my god, there's loads of foiling. Okay, so we've got the Spice Gate. I'm really sorry if I pronounced this wrong. Bye. Prashanth Srivasta. Look at that. That's pretty. Oh my god, these sprayed edges. Oh, okay. Look at the back. My hair in my face. Look at these look at this that is amazing that is stunning what does the back say Amir had no choice he lifted his chin and stepped through giving himself to the spice god and as always the great gate tore him apart Ooh, that is pretty oh wow I've just seen, I've just seen some stuff All right this is the front cover that we've got and as always with the little library we've got the key that matches all the other books and then we've got this stunning artwork on the end pages. Is it the same on the back? It's not as different. Oh my gosh. Oh, amazing. Okay. I haven't heard about this book. It's not one of the ones that I've had spoiled for me or ones that I have predicted. Um, we got a really pretty blue bookmark ribbon, which I love. Okay, so let's chuck that in there. And let's, oh no, 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 don't, let's find out about this pretty book and the author and then move on to the author's letter. So, Relics of a Mysterious God. The spice gates connect the eight far-flung kingdoms, each separated by a distinct spice and only accessible by those born with a special mark. This is not a mark of distinction, but one of subjugation. Spice carriers suffer the lashes of their rich masters and the jolting pain of passing through the gates themselves. Amir is a spice carrier, dreaming of escape, but something is stirring in the inhospitable spaces between the kingdoms. As Amir makes his plan for freedom, he is drawn into a plot that threatens to unravel the power, keeping the gates in balance. Gods, assassins and throne keepers all have a vested interest in the spice trade, and Amir will have to decide what kind of world he wants to live in, if the world survives at all. Oh, this sounds good. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. So, the author is a writer of fantasy and science fiction from Bengaluru, India. His works of short fiction have appeared in numerous magazines and as magazine, oh, magazines such as Asimov's Science Fiction, Fantasy and Science Fiction, Beneath Ceaseless Skies and more. The Spice Gate is his debut fantasy novel. Ooh. I love debuts. I think it's really cool. I love that the book boxes give us a chance to see authors that wouldn't normally probably be displayed as prominently as some of the bigger well-established authors that are already out there. Um, I saw a very interesting post on Instagram about something very similar. Anyway, we have an author's letter. So let's read it. Let me chop a bit more out of the way. Dear Lock Library Reader, The Spice Gate welcomes you on its adventure. It's my first novel and thus will always hold a special place in my heart. It was a book conceived in the kitchen as I waited for the ginger to boil for a cup of tea. But it is also a book that was written across years in many other places, desks, cafes, bookstores, local trains, at work, secretly. <laughs> and though parts of a pandemic, through parts of a pandemic, I don't know why I said though. It carries in its pages the smells of my childhood and flavours of home. The recipes of my grandmother and my mother, bottled within the story, is the culture of Tamil Nadu and its endless bounty of quirks and vices, but is also equally a story outside of home. The Spice Gate is a quest not only of liberation, but also of emancipation. With Amir, we travel through portals into the eight kingdoms, enchanted with spices, festivals, monsters and folklore. But simmering beneath this seductive veneer lies the brutal reality of the caste system. It is something pervasive a blot on humanity and for centuries people have fought against it and still do to this day. The Spice Gate is my meagre contribution to this struggle and appeal for humanity for the best of us. 
Along this journey, you will be treated to wondrous landscapes, delicious food, breathtaking battles, and bone-chilling cries from monsters. You will also meet some of my most favourite people. Brave, funny, tragic, loving, sometimes evil, but always with a capacity to carve out a silver sliver of light from the darkness. I hope you find in this journey something to cherish and remember, or at the very least, do not forget to add ginger to your tea. Oh, I can't wait to read this. This is a stunning edition of a book. I'm blown away by those sprayed edges, guys. I can't wait to read this. This sounds really interesting. Um, I am, I am excited. I can't wait. This looks like such a good book. Um, once I have read it as normal, I will eventually post a book review on my website linked below. Um, yeah, that's, I, I love the foiling of the stars. I love stars and foilings. It's such a pretty cover. Um, thank you for watching. If you've liked this video, please drop a like and subscribe. Um, if you subscribe and hit the notification button, you'll get an notification every time I post a new video um and yeah I will see you for the next unboxing thank you